Hey, welcome back. Welcome back, guys. As promised, here is the in depth video tutorial all about the new web builder, exactly how it works, exactly what each component means, how you can use it, and some tips and some tricks along the way. Now, I will be showing everything that's involved in the web builder in this particular video. However, I will also be creating uh, sub videos that will go into each component just so that you uh, have uh, you know all the different components within the web builder organized into different tutorials. But this particular tutorial will go in depth. It'll be a little longer as we'll go through all of what the web uh, three builder has to offer, exactly how everything works and how you can create out these V3 stores. So let's get started. I've already created a, uh, a store here with a default template of yellow. If you missed the first video, you just simply click on create. You can pick one of the colors for this particular theme. We will be adding a lot more themes. Uh, this is just to get started. Um, or you can always create a website from scratch. Now, uh, if you already have a store, none of what you see here is going to necessarily impact the V2 store until you actually publish your V3 store. So feel free to play around, check out V3, and when you're ready, you can publish. So let's get started. I will open up the uh, V3 store here. So uh, let's just start by talking about navigation, you know, like how to navigate the V3 builder, what each section means, you know, how it works and whatnot. So let's start with the first thing here, right in the middle, which as you can see here, I am on my home page. This is my home page of my website. I can see that I'm on the home page because it says home here. It also says home here on the left. And you can see that the home tab is highlighted on my actual website. So clearly I'm editing the home page of my website. Now, if I want to switch to other pages, I simply click on this middle button and then I can switch into either the beat page, the kids page, cart, contact, about uh, my player and any other pages that you have. So uh, let me just do that real quick. I'll just switch into my beats page. As you can see, when I switch a page, it highlights beats here. It also shows me beats here. So I always know which page I'm working within. Same thing if I go into like the contact page and then, uh, you know, I can see it here on the left as well. So let's talk about pages since we're on the topic of pages. Um, you can click on manage pages. And here in V3, it's really exciting because you can create multiple pages. In the previous version, you were kind of stuck with the pages that we gave you. You can hide some pages, but in V3, there's no limitations whatsoever. So if you want to create a new page, you simply click on the add button there and that'll present this particular window. Now, you can always create a blank page, which is a blank canvas that allows you to add pretty much anything, photos, videos. You can be as creative as you'd like. Or if you need some guidance and you know what type of page you want to create, you can use some of these pre-built templates. So uh, just as an example, let's say I wanted to create a page for services because I sell mixing and mastering services or I'm an artist and I want to do a, a feature, bookings, whatever it may be. I'll go ahead and create just a fresh services page. Um, you can also, you don't have to just click on one page. If you know you want to create a, create a services page and a merch page, you can click both options and then you would just click on add two pages and there we go we got a little success dialog and these show up at the bottom so now you'll see that because i added the services page and the merch page they show up in my menu here with services page and merch page now i don't want the word page in there i just want it to say services and merch so you could click this pencil icon which allows you to change the tab name there and then confirm and then same thing here. So very simple, very easy. Now it's uh, services and merch. Um, while we're on this topic, you can reorganize the order of your menu tabs by just simply hovering over this green uh, grip icon and just dragging and dropping. So now my merch is positioned here and I can just drag back and forth. So I'll move the uh, about and the contact at the end because that's kind of standard. And then we'll go back here. So now you see I have my uh, services and my merch. And if I navigate to those particular uh, pages, you'll see that the template already kind of gave me a starting ground. So it gave me this header, uh, you know, and it gave me like three services that I can, uh, you know, add, uh, add stuff to, um, you know, and then I can obviously I can add even more uh, services by clicking here, add content. So let's transition into, into that, which is these blocks on the left. 
So how do you add blocks to your website and what are blocks? Blocks are each individual section in your particular page. As you can see here, this page, which is the services page, has two blocks in it. It's got a heading block, which the purpose is to essentially create like a heading text with a subtext. And then here on the right is where you can control the properties of this particular block, the, the styling, if you may. Um, and there's a lot of different styles. You can change the colors, the fonts, the background color. You can even change, you know, the alignment. So let's say you wanted it to be aligned on the left or in the center or in the right. Uh, you can, uh, you know, manipulate it as you'd like. Um, so each block has certain editing properties. Some are common uh, while others have particular, uh, you know, uh, edits that are specific to that particular block like this. For example, this particular block, as you can see here, has three grids. It can have five grids. It can have 10 grids. Just depends on how many services I'm selling here. And then I can manage like, you know, the how I want it to be laid out, which is really cool. You know, maybe you want a two by two because you want the images to be really big. Maybe you've got like 20 services, so you want them more visible. You could do a four by four. It's really up to you. So, uh, so yeah, essentially, whenever you want to edit a particular element, here on the left, under draggable list, you'll have your elements. So as you click, you can see that it's switching between uh, each of the uh, elements, and then you can edit them here on the right. So now in this particular element, which is the collection grid and many other elements, you'll notice that when you click on a particular uh, box here, like any of these boxes, which is what this actual service will be, you'll see here on the right, it says content and you can add any content to this. Now, obviously this page is dedicated for selling services. So I'm going to click add and then I'm gonna navigate to my uh, products, which it looks like this default store doesn't have any products, but I can click on add and then I can create a service. So I'll create a service here. I'll just put in whatever image. Uh, no, I'm not gonna require a bio. Let's say mixing and mastering. Uh, 200 bucks, something like that. And let me publish this. I need a description. Let's just do a test here. All right, just quickly add that service. All right, so now that I have the service added in my uh, window here of assets, uh, I can just simply uh, click on that particular service and confirm it. And you'll see it pre-fills uh, the information directly, uh, you know, for me. So, um, if I want to update that, I can just, you know, click on update and then pick a different service. So as you can see here, now I've got that one service. Obviously, you would add more services and you would click on, you know, add. You'd find exactly what you want and then, you know, you you just kind of keep on going. So that's how you, you know, add content, whether that's a beat, a song, a service, uh, anything. Anywhere where you see this little thing that says content and where you can add it just means like, what do you wanna sell? Or what do you want this box to be? Maybe it's a video, maybe you're not selling anything, you're just showing a video, or maybe it's a, an image, you know, that has this button that links to like your social media or something like that. Uh, it's pretty much whatever you want it to be, it's very dynamic. So, so yeah, now that I've got some of that filled in, uh, you know, like I said, you can change, uh, you know, different properties and things like that, I can change these, button colors to black that looks a lot better uh, and whatnot. So uh, the next thing is organization within the actual block. So like, let's say I added this mixing and mastering and this was like some other service. I'll just retitle this for demo purposes, service number, uh, service number two. So like, let's say I'm like, oh, I really want service number two to actually be number one. Well, here on the, um, on the left here, that's where you have all of these different uh, blocks, you could just take the block like this one right here and you can actually just drag it. So as you can see here now, service two is, is in the first position and you can just kind of drag and drop here. So, so yeah, that's how you drag and drop and reorganize your individual blocks. And then these blocks as well are re, re uh, or uh, organizable as well. So for just demo purposes, if I wanted to move this collection grid above the header, you could just drag and then drop and then same thing, drag and then drop. So you can also, if you don't wanna do the dragging and dropping here, when you click on the individual element, you'll see arrows, arrows up and down. So if I wanna move this element down, I just click on the arrow and it moves it down. So it's it's pretty easy to use as well. So 
yeah, so that's how that, that particular part works on every single page. And I mean, every single page, you can always add as many elements as you want because you're essentially creating the site that you want. So as you can see here on my homepage, I've got a header, I've got a track list, I've got this really big block that's kind of serves for like a featured track or a featured video. Um, then I have like an, another version of that which alternates you know, on the other side. I've got a newsletter block so people can subscribe to my newsletter. You've got all of these really useful blocks that you can add to any page by simply clicking on this green add section button which brings up this window and what's really cool is as you preview like what is content text with overlay like what does that mean as you can see here on the right side it gives you a preview and says this section enables you to incorporate a banner image overlaid with text and includes a call to action button so you can at least see like a preview of what that block would look like and then when you click on it it inserts it there at the bottom and uh, yeah, you can add like your own, let's say image or video there. I'll, I'll just like add this image here just for purposes. And then obviously I wouldn't want this on the bottom. Maybe I want this on the top. I could just uh, rearrange it right underneath here. And, and there you go. You know, you just added a section. You can edit it, connect things and whatnot. So yeah, each of these particular blocks, feel free to play around with them, see what they do, click around. Um, you know, some of them are really self-explanatory, like heading text. Obviously, that's like a header, paragraph, a divider, you know, your, your track list, kit list, videos. You can add an entire video, which could either be, you know, a YouTube video or uh, an MP4 video from your device. Uh, pretty much anything. You just, you just fill in the block, which is really nice. And then it just works. It just naturally works. And then you just put that block where you want it. If you want to delete a block, then you just simply click on the block and then you click on remove section. So it's that simple. So I can just remove these two blocks that I made. And uh, let's say I made a mistake. Oops, I didn't want to remove that block. I put in a lot of work. I accidentally removed it. You've got these a nice undo and redo buttons here at the top right. So like I could just click on undo and there's my element. Redo, it goes away. Undo, it's back there. So. Uh, that's a uh, very helpful for sure. So uh, moving forward um, You can access your uh, manager of your assets either by going to file and then manage content Where you can add just a bunch of different stuff or you can also click this folder here on the on the left as well so uh, makes it really really nice and simple so uh, the next thing I'd love to talk about is really this concept of playlists, which is really great for both artists and producers. And that is you can you can create on your pages these things called track lists. And uh, within the track list, you can offer your uh, customers the ability to search for that particular playlist, like the, the content and beats inside of it. Um, or you can even hide the visibility. Like let's say you didn't want to have this stuff, you just wanted the, the tracks to be there then you can come in here and you can, once again, you can attach content there and you can create lists, which is really a game changer to be able to create your own playlists. Maybe you wanna create just like a trap playlist or you wanna create like a pack that you wanna sell, like a pack of three beats or like a boom bap playlist, R&B playlist. Just having playlists is really nice because as people are using your site, you know, they might be really interested in a particular genre and you can offer that to your uh, customers. So um, it's really easy to create um, uh, lists. You just, you can either, obviously if, if you're on the list, you can click on, uh, you can click on that particular playlist here and then just update and attach which uh, playlist you wanna add, or you can add a brand new list right here as well. So. Or you can always go to file, you know, manage content, navigate to lists here and add a new list. So lists are uh, really, really uh, useful. So um, moving on, uh, some of the kind of standard stuff as well is if you want to preview your site in mobile mode, you can toggle here at the top, which is going from desktop to mobile. So you can see exactly what the site would look like on mobile, which our websites are extremely uh, responsive to mobile. Uh, which is really nice. And then you can also preview your site here live time. So you can actually mess around with it and click buttons and you're no longer in editing mode. So you can actually navigate through the site, see how things would look and uh, all of that good stuff. So, um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's, I guess, move on to the, the kind of, kind of some of the more standard stuff, which is like your settings, 
site settings. You just go to file settings. You can also click on the settings here. These are things like your domain settings. You can register for a domain, uh, your theme settings. So like if you want to change the font, as an example, you could change the font there. The background image of your entire site, you can see I have like this, this image here. You can change that. Some of the default colors and things like that. Kind of standard, standard stuff. So, uh, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much, honestly, guys, that's pretty much the V3 builder. You know, there is, you know, a lot of things to unpack within each particular element. Like I said, I will be creating tutorials simply just talking about like this content with text, what exactly you can do in here, my recommendations and things like that. But, you know, play around with it, um, you know, add some blocks, click around, you'll figure it out. It's really kind of obvious, you know, how do you add beats, how you add songs and products and stuff like that. And all these things on the right are just, you know, straightforward. Like, you know, what you want the text to say, what what the button action is. Like when somebody clicks on this button, you want it to go to another page. Like, what do you want it to actually do and things like that. So I hope this tutorial was helpful, you know, from navigating the V3 Builder. Uh, I appreciate you taking some time to take a look at it. Of course, if you have specific questions, you can always reach out to support at inna.com. Thank you so much.